I'm feeling vibes on vibes I'm a ticking dynamite I blow your candle lights You know I'm just that type No, them no fit kill my vibe Them no fit kill my vibe Them no fit kill, them no fit kill Them no fit kill my Hey guys, my name is Egont of Treads Fashion and today I'll be showing you how to create patterns and make this beautiful off-shoulder dress and this dress is a very easy make no buttons no zippers and it's also very stylish too you can make it into a top a tunic or even as a mazi dress so now grab all your pattern making tools let's get to the table and start drafting our patterns and oh don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so so that whenever i post new videos you always see them and if you like to learn pattern making or you want to improve your pattern making and sewing skills then you need to join my online school i'm going to drop the link in the description box below so that you can sign up and join my sewing community so now let's get to the table and start drafting our patterns so here are the things you will need to make this dress you will need all your pattern making tools you will need your body's block and your sleeve block if you have not already gotten yours you can check my last video and make your body's block and sleeve block and then you will need about two meters of fabric you would also need elastic um, for the shoulder and for the sleeve hem the width of this elastic is about 2.5 cm if you have this fine and good if you don't have this you can use a smaller elastic and then you will need your other sewing accessories now for this dress you can use any light to medium weight fabric for it I'm using Ankara fabric this is an African print fabric so you can use any non stretchy fabric light to medium weight for yours so now if you have all your things ready now let's start drafting our patterns so the first thing we're going to do will be for us to trace out our body's block so I'm going to trace out the front block now and then we're going to ignore the darts because this is a loose dress we do not need our that, so we're going to ignore them. Okay, so once you finish tracing out your body's block, we're working with the front first. So let me write center front here. Now you're going to lengthen your block to your desired length of your dress. So however long or short you want your dress, that's what you're going to do. Now from my hip line here, I'm going to add about 35 cm to lengthen it. Okay, so this is the full length of our dress now from the shoulder to the hem. Now the next thing you're going to do is we are going to cut off the upper part. Remember, this is an off shoulder dress. So we're going to cut off the upper part. Now from your shoulder, from your neck tip here, you're going to measure downwards about 12 cm. So you see, you can use your tape measure or you can use your meter rule to measure it. This is about 12 cm. So once you place your mark like that, you draw a straight horizontal line across it. Okay, so that means we don't need this part anymore. This is where our dress is going to start from. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add um, a little allowance to it so that our dress will be more loose. So you determine how big or how free you want your dress to be, then you add your um, you add that amount to your center front. For example, I don't want this dress to be too loose, um, so I'm going to add just two cm. So from here, from my center front all the way to this point, I'm adding just two cm. You can add 1.5 if you want it um, not too so loose. You can add. You can also add about 4 cm. It really depends on how big 
or how loose, how free, how fitted you want it to be. Okay, so now this becomes my center front, not this one anymore. And you add this two seam all the way down to your dress hem. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add the width of our elastic casing. For example, the width of the elastic I want to use is 2.5 cm. So I'm going to add 5 cm to my 2.5 cm. So I have 3 cm. So I'm going to add from here upwards 3 cm. That is where I'll put my elastic uh, casing. So 3 cm upwards. And then you connect it down like this okay so if you are using a smaller elastic for example you're using a 1 cm or 1.5 you're going to add 0 0.5 cm to that for example you're using 1 cm you add 0 0.5 so you have 1.5 cm so that your elastic can pass through very easily so this is going to be our fold line So really this is all for the front piece, the front pattern. All you need to do now is just to add your seam allowance, 1.5 cm seam allowance all around. Remember we don't need this part anymore. So our dress is going to start from here or our pattern is going to start from here. So you're going to repeat this same process for the back side. So you trace out your back bodies and then you repeat exactly the same process for the back bodies. Now to create our sleeve pattern, you're just going to place your sleeve on a plain sheet of paper and then trace it out just like this. I've already traced out mine. And then once you've traced it out, you're going to determine how long you want your sleeve to be. Now from the sleeve crown, I want my sleeve to be 50 cm long. So I'm just going to place my meter rule here or you use your tape measure and then you determine how long you want your sleeve to be. So that is where I want my sleeve to be, 50 uh, cm long from, from the sleeve crown. You can make yours longer or you can make yours even shorter. Okay, and then you rule a straight line across it. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your front pattern and your back pattern. We're going to measure the armhole. Okay, first of all, this is my uh, front pattern piece. So now I'm going to measure the armhole. So you're going to measure your armhole from here all the way down to where your front, um, where your front, uh, um, where your front pattern stops. So you place your tape measure just like this. Place it just like this, starting from here or starting from here depends on you and then you just measure it nicely you work your tape measure down just like this and you measure it down just like this so i have 16.5 you can measure it several times so that you'll be double sure now this is my center front piece so i have 16.5 so now i'm going to go to my sleeve and then I'm going to measure, this is the front part of my sleeve and this is my back part. So I'm going to measure from here to 16.5. So whatever value you have for yours, yours will not be 16.5, it depends because we are all of different sizes. So whatever value you have for yours, when you measure yours, is what you're going to measure here and then you mark. So I got 16.5 for mine, so I'm just going to measure from here now, 16.5. Oh. 
and then you place your mark just like that then you're going to take your back pattern piece and then you're going to do exactly the same thing now you're going to measure from here where your back piece starts all the way to the end so I so for mine I got 20 cm many times your back and your front uh, pattern piece are never the same the armhole are never the same so that is why we have to measure them separately so for this one the back side I got 20 cm so I'm going to measure mine from here now and mark 20 cm now the reason why we are doing this is so that our sleeve will match our armhole very well So you mark and that's my 20 cm so once you are happy with yours you're just going to connect these two points together in a straight line okay so now now that we've done this the next thing we are going to, so that means that we don't need this part anymore we don't need this part at all we're going to chop it off so once you've done this the next thing we are going to do now is we're going to split open our sleeve so that we can add our um we can add some amount of ease or allowance to it so that our sleeve will be a bit free okay you cut it all the way to the end and then you set it aside now you're going to take a plain sheet of paper just a plain sheet of paper and then you're going to draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line the line is just to serve as a guide for us so this line is just going to serve as a guide for us so that we're able to spread our sleep pattern very well and you place your sleep pattern on it just like this and then you're going to spread them out now is now see where i'm putting my my mark here this is my hem this is my sleeve hem so i'm just going to place it like this and then you can spread out your sleeve i hope you can see what i'm doing then you can spread out your sleeve just like this as wide as you want you can spread it out like this you can spread it out like it depends on how you want it to be now because i want the the upper parts to be a lot fuller so I'm going to spread it out something like this. So from here to here, I'm going to open this, uh, the bottom part, let's say about 2 cm or so. Yeah, 2 cm, I don't want it to be 2, 2 cm or 3 cm, depending, not too wide. Okay, so that's where I want my sleeve to be or how wide or the amount of ease I want to put there and then I just stick it down and then on this side too because you want to have equal amounts so you also spread it out the same amount that you spread the other part out okay if you are happy so you can just stick it stick it down just like this oops okay now you come to these upper parts you can also determine how wide you want the upper parts to be for me this part i want to spread it out 5 cm from this line so that's why i'm using that's why i had to put this line here just to serve as a guide so 5 cm from here okay that's okay and then i put my sticky tape and then on this other side you're going to spread it out the same amount Okay, this is 5 cm as well. And then I just put my sticky tape just like this. So now I'm going to redraw my line so that my line will be straight. So 
so I'm not changing the point the same point here I'm just going to draw it so that it will be straight okay yes so now once you are happy with this the next thing you're going to do now is also to draw your um, you're also going to draw your elastic casing so this time around your elastic casing is going to be uh, towards this side because you have already added it when you measured your um, your armhole so my elastic casing value was um, was 3 cm so I'm going to draw a line across it like this 3 cm so here this is going to be my fold line so we're going to fold fold it like this and then this is where my elastic casing will be now on the hem line too you're going to redraw your line so that it will be straight okay so that's it and then you're going to add your elastic casing value mine is 3 cm so I'm just going to measure downwards 3 cm okay I think I need to place a little paper here so this is going to be my fold line this line here is going to be my fold line so we don't need this part anymore so I'm just going to strike it out okay so this is going to be our sleeve on the other hand you can also just make your sleeve straight if you want more room you can just um, add a bit to it maybe from this side on the side of your sleeve you can add a bit to it maybe 2 cm or thereabouts it really depends on you it depends on how big you want your sleeve to be okay so that's your sleeve and then the only thing we need to do now is to add 1.5 cm seam allowance all around it so now i'm just going to place my tracing paper over my three pattern pieces and then trace them out and add my seam allowance all around it So now I've traced out all my three pattern pieces. I've added my 1.5 cm seam allowance all around. But for the center back piece here, there's no need for you to add seam allowance because it's going to be caught on fold. We're going to fold our fabric and pull this edge at the edge of at the folded part of our fabric and cut it out. The same applies to the center front pattern piece as well. So you lay your fabric flat like this and then you fold it just like this. Now I'm not folding my fabric on the grain because my fabric has some patterns. If I fold it on the grain, the patterns are not going to stay very nicely. So be sure to check your fabrics too before you fold it. And then you place you place this edge here your center back or your center front just against your folded edge of your the folded edge of your fabric If the right side of your fabric and the wrong side of your fabric looks almost exactly the same, in order for you not to make a mistake, you can just mark chalk on it like this. This is the wrong side of my fabric so that you know that this is the wrong side of your fabric. So I ended up using 2.5 meters with just a little leftover for this dress. So depending on your size and the width of your fabric, you can use about 2 meters or 2.5. And depending on the size of your sleeve as well how wide your sleeve is 
So once you finish um, cutting out your pattern pieces like this, the next thing for you to do will be to for you to overlock all your pattern pieces before we start stitching. To start stitching, lie flat your front pattern or your back patterns and then place the other one on top. Just like this. So this is my front and back pattern pieces and then you're going to join them together at the side seam. So you join this side and then you also join this side together from under the arm all the way down to the hem line. So when you finish joining the two side seams together, the next thing will be take it to your ironing board and compress your seam allowance just like this so that it will look nice and neat. Now the only thing we need, the other thing we need to do now would be for us to um, join the sleeve. So you take your sleeve and then you fold it just like this on the wrong side of your fabric and then you're going to join it from the underarm all the way down to the hemline for the two sleeves and then you take it to the ironing board and then open press the seam allowance so that it will lie flat so now the next thing will be for us to attach our sleeve to our dress so you're going to turn your dress on the right side of your fabric and then your sleeve on the right side of your fabric as well now you're going to place your sleeve the underarm of your sleeve against the underarm of your dress now try and match the seams so just match them and then use your pins to hold them together in place now it's very important that you place the back of your sleeve against the back of your dress otherwise your sleeve is not going to match very well if you place the back of your sleeve, a sleeve against the back or the, against the front of your dress, one side is going to be longer. It's not going to match well. So ensure that you place the back of your sleeve or the front of your sleeve against the front of your dress, the back of your sleeve against the back of your dress. And then you use your pins to hold them together in place just like this. Okay, so this is how your sleeve should look like. So now you take it to your sewing machine and then you're going to stitch from one end here all the way down to the other end of your sleeve. Just like that. So now the next thing for us to do will be to finish off our neckline. And to do that, you're just going to fold, you're going to fold in your seam allowance just like this. Fold it once like this and then you're going to fold in your elastic casing just like this and then you iron it very flat. You're also going to do exactly the same thing for the hem, uh, the sleeve hem as well. So I've ironed mine and this is how it looks. I folded this in and I folded it in again just like this. So now the next thing is to go and stitch it all around and then when you stitch you're going to leave about 3 cm opening somewhere here so you stitch from here all around and leave a little opening about 3 cm where you're going to pass your elastic through you're also going to do the same thing for your sleeve hem so here's my little opening here at the back to install the elastic but before we install the elastic let me show you how to measure the elastic and cut it out so now to cut out your elastic is pretty very easy. You take your elastic and then you're going to wrap it around your shoulder. Something like this. Okay, something like this. Just like this. Make sure it is not too tight because if it is too tight, it's going to ride up. Your dress is going to ride up. Now, if it is too loose, your dress is going to drop down. So stand in front of a mirror and take it just like this. And then for the sleeve hem, it's exactly the same thing. Now you're going to place it around where your sleeve is going to stop. And then you're going to just place it like this. And then you cut it out. So once you've cut out your elastic, now let's get back to the table and then install it. Okay, so to install our elastic, you just grab a safety pin just like this 
then open it up take your elastic and on one end of your elastic secure it like this or place your um, safety pin on it and then on the other end use a pin to just hold it with your uh, dress just like this so that you don't pull it out so hold it with a pin like that and then this side that has a safety pin you're just going to put it in like this and then you continue to pull it until you get to the other side okay when you get to somewhere here you take off this pin and then you can still just hold it a little bit somewhere here so that you can bring this other one out okay So now you're going to have something like this. Take off your pin and then you're going to have something like this. And now what you can do to be double sure that you like the way or you like the size of your elastic before you stitch it close, you can still use your pin and hold it in place and then you go and fit it on. You can hold it in place just like this the two of them pull it out and then go and fit it on and see if you like the way it is if you like it fine and good you go ahead and stitch it if you don't like it then you can reduce the elastic if you feel that the elastic is too um, is too long now for you to stitch it is very easy you place one of it on top of the other one and then you go to the sewing machine and then you run a stitch just like that you stitch it several times so that it doesn't pull open inside stitch it a couple of times really it's really important so that it doesn't pull open and then you're going to do exactly the same thing for the sleeve hem as well so the next thing we're going to do now is to finish off our hem but before you finish off your hem remember to close your little opening here and the one on your sleeve hem as well so now to close up our hem or to finish off our hem you just fold in your hem you fold in your seam allowance a little bit like this and then you fold it again a second time now you can iron it out so that it will be easy for you to fold and then you stitch from one end all the way down to the other end so once you finish your hair, you're going to give your dress a very good press and then you're ready to rock your dress. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was simple enough for you to understand. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, bye.